in my first video i have introduced isomerism now it's a second video in this we will see some more examples let us take pentane what is the formula for pentane pent carbon number 5 a n e it is alkane family general formula for alkane is c n h2 n plus 2 substitute phi in that c phi h 2 into phi plus 2 c phi h 10 plus 2 so formula c phi h 12 it is pentane we will try to write isomers for pentane first isomer is with straight chain so here phi carbon linked by single bond so now all the four phi carbons valency is 4 so let us complete the valency of hydrogen so write h so the total number of h will be 12 count the total number of h will be 12 as it is straight chain that it is called normal pentane so n pentane now the second isomer for this so in the second isomer it will be a branched chain so we will take one carbon as a branch so one 2 3 4 and 1 as a branch so that branch should be written only here not in the first carbon not in the terminal carbons when it is in the terminal carbon it's like a continuity so branch should be given only between this two carbon any one of this two carbon so now i have written here so let me number it 1 2 3 4 so the branch should get the least number so it is a second carbon now let us complete the valency of carbon valency of carbon is 4 so every carbon should get four bonds so for carbon number 1 one is over so 2 3 4 carbon number 2 1 2 3 bonds are over so only one hydrogen there carbon number 3 so two bonds are over two more bonds carbon number 4 one is over already so three more now the branch for the branch carbon already one is over one bond is over so three more bonds so let us write h in all those places the total number of hydrogen here also only 12 carbon is 5 hydrogen is 12 so it is a next isomer second isomer of pentane so this isomer is called isopentane is a second isomer so first isomer is normal chain so n pentane now the second isomer as one branching and it is called isopentane now let me see the third isomer so in the third isomer we will write two branches for the same carbon so 1 2 3 in a straight chain two as a branch for the same carbon so totally 1 2 3 in a straight chain two are present in the branch now every carbon should contain four bonds first carbon one bond is over so now we will write three more for the second carbon 1 2 3 4 so all the bonds for the second carbon is covered by carbon itself so for the second carbon no hydrogen at all for the third carbon one bond is over already so three more now for the branch here one bond is over already so three more hydrogens for the branch which is above again three more bonds so count the number of hydrogens 3 6 9 3 12 so the formula here is also c5 h12 and the name of this isomer is called neopentane 
So totally three isomers for the pentane. One is normal chain that is N pentane. The second isomer has one branch. So it's called isopentane. Third isomer has two branches and it is called neopentane. So the same way children try yourself for the next member that is hexane. So X means 6 carbon atom. So carbon number 6. As it is ANE, again substitute in the general formula and find out the number of hydrogens. So here the number of hydrogen will be 2 into 6, 12 plus 2, 14 hydrogens. So how many isomers for this X? So how to find out this? There is a simple clue for this. So you will substitute in this formula 2 power n minus 4 plus 1. Here n is 6 carbon atom. So 2 power 6 minus 4 plus 1. 2 power 2 plus 1. 2 power 2 is 4 plus 1, 5. So here 5 isomers are possible for exit. So you will try by yourself. We will see in the next video.